Hello everyone, my name is Kale Animations and I've been asked a lot of how to make these green screen videos for the Henry Stickman videos. So Shaloop! Hey. You so you can take your very own and stop begging me for it. Okay, so uh, you're gonna need a few softwares. Uh, you're actually gonna need two softwares. This is gonna be free. This is gonna, yeah, this, all these softwares are gonna be free. Uh, you're gonna need this animation software called Pencil 2D, which is how I draw slash green screen it. And you want an editor. You can use any editor, but I would use the Vinci Resolve 16, which I'm gonna use for today's video. So, yeah. Make sure you guys leave a like, because this is really stressful. And, yeah. So, what you first need to do is that you need to get your video from YouTube. Or, if you have the Henry Stickman collection on Steam, you can just record it with any... Uh, recorder. I would use OBS if you guys want that, but you can just, just search up OBS on Google and you can find the uh, download link for that. I don't have the link in the description, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. So, uh, what you want to do first, want to get your video, and then after that, you want to hop it to your Resolve. So, alright, so here is my DaVinci Resolve 16. So, what you want to do is that you want to right click and you want to click Import Media. And then after that, it's going to show some tabs, and then after that, you can insert it. You're going to click Don't Change, and then you're going to select, you're going to select this. Alright, so now you have your thing. So now you have all of your stuff here. So now you want to start trimming it to the part where you want it, so... Now you're just going to try to edit it. So now that you have got your video. You want to make it as short as possible because once you make it short it's going to be easier to process it. Alright, and now what you're going to do is you click this rocket launcher. And then you're going to put your file name. I'm just going to Henry, Henry gets oof. Alright, so once you have typed that in, then after that you're going to export it. I'm going to export it to M4. Start render, and then that's, then it's going to render it for you. Our next step is to transport this to image sequence, which is how you are going to switch, how are you going to import this to Pencil 2D, because you can't really import a video unless you change it to, like, JPG. So, we're on this website called easygif.com. If you have a uh, software for uh, changing that already, like conversion, then uh, go ahead. So I'm going to choose my file real quick, and I am going to choose my video. You're going to click upload video, and then after that it's going to start uploading. Convert to JPG. So you should see, there should be pictures of Henry slowly trying to like, you know. So these are all the frames of the animation, which is what you're going to be like using. So yeah. So it's gonna... Yeah, so like that. And now, what you want to do is you're going to click download frames as zip. And it's going to show you a download. And then after that, you're going to go switch to Pencil 2D. You're going to click on File. You're going to click on File on the top. And then you're going to click Import. And then you hold Image Sequence. So then after that, there should be a window that pops up. And let me uh, just zoom in for you. There should be a window that says File, Options, Import an Image, Every something Frame. So you just want to leave the options to 1. You don't have to change anything for that. You're going to click Browse, and then after that, you are going to find your frames, and then after that, you're going to show it there. Alright, then after that, you're going to click OK, and then after that, it should work. So now what you're going to have is, okay, so now you have all of your frames. So, 
the video. So all of your frames here. So it's basically like a video. So if you play it for that, yeah. So you're gonna save your document as obvious because it's gonna take quite a while to get that back. Okay, so now that we have finished that, you're going to click green, and then you're going to click the letter P, and then it's going to show this. Uh, I would recommend you to change your brush to 39.5. It's in the settings if you click window, no, options, control 2. Okay, cool. Uh, if you guys want me to make a separate tutorial of how to use Final 2D or the editor, then comment below, because I'm happy to uh, assist you guys. So... First thing, you want to make sure your brushes like, have a huge quantity. Uh, if you press the letter K, it's like a fill-in, so you can like, fill in that. I would set my like, tolerance to like 27. So at least patches up some stuff. You can make yours low if you want, but I like like around the twenties or like the tens. So and if you click B, this is like your standard art. I'm switching mines to like forty eight. And then if you put N, it's like a really small one. So now that you got that, now you're gonna start editing your first frame. What I would do is I would make a new bitmap layer. You click this additional button, and then you click new bitmap layer, and it's going to show up. Alright, so now we're going to edit this. We're going to crop down most of these. And then you can click K. And it's going to show up with this. And then you might want to start editing more of it. And you want to make sure you go to more frames. Okay, it's a bit of a problem. So if you hit E, then you can start erasing it. So then after that, now you just want to start coloring the rest. All right now you have finished that. Now it starts to do some real quick. So you're gonna to switch to bitmap layer. Hit K, and then what you do is that you're gonna select these. So now let's say you have perfected your stickman. So now you want to, you know, you, you, you finish the main part of it. So now you really want to make it look real fancy and real, real nice. So what you're going to do is that you're going to click N and you're going to start like filling the blanks over here. Uh, you want to make sure if you fill it, you don't want to fill in too much that looks a little bit hairy like this. So you want to switch back to, to green and then you're going to start shading it in and if you want you could if you want to make it even more realistic you can change it to the color of this cuz if we go to the color palette this is not the same as like the black in pencil 2D so these are like two different colors cuz of the uh when you compressed it it kind of changed so yeah that's all for this video, and yeah, so that's one frame, and you're gonna do this continuously, but uh, if you want some tricks and tips, if you, you don't have to animate all of these frames, what you would do is, so let's say like this, this exa exact picture, what you're gonna do is I use trap these, or, and you can just leave it like this. So you don't have to edit any more frames with the singular picture. Or you can click this as the duplicating frame. So you have the same things as that. And if you want to add another frame, just click this or subtract another frame. Like this. So yeah, that's the tutorial. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want a Pencil 2D or a DaVinci Resolve 16 one, I'll be happy to make it. Just comment below. Uh, leave a like if you want more of these. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.